everybody, my name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. Today we're going to talk about um, Google Sites and Google Analytics and um, getting your Google Site searched, searched in the Google Search and you can also do the Bing and Yahoo Search tools as well. So we're going to talk a little bit about this. I've gotten a lot of questions about it and I've spent the weekend kind of um, working on it. Um, there's a couple things that you're going to need in order for this to work for you. First of all, you're going to have to have a Google Site that's published and ready to go. Um, second of all, you're going to have to have a Google Analytics account um, with an account that's created. You don't necessarily have to have a site in there, but you need to have something that's connect connected with your Gmail account in order for for this to all work. Um, and and the way the simple way that this basically works is you'll you'll plug in a code to your Google site, and then Google Analytics will track clicks, video watches, traffic, inbound traffic, outbound traffic. Um, and, and that's separate from the Google Search Console. The Google Search Console basically is you're telling Google, hey, I have a site that I want to be searched by the web crawlers. And you could do the same for Bing and Yahoo. And Bing and Yahoo are actually the same one. Um, and, and the submission tool is a little bit the same. Um, and so we'll walk through that together. So the first thing that you'll notice is when you're done with your Google site, again, if you've seen this, this is the one that we built um, you know, last uh, fall. And for me, it's just been sitting dormant. Um, I haven't put anything else on it um, because I haven't done any other Google Sites videos. But if we go up to settings and you'll click right here, analytics, you'll see that I don't have anything tracking my analytics. There are third-party apps that you could embed here. Um, there's, you know, clicky, there's all sorts of things. I don't want to list all of them, but you can embed kind of a, a tracker or a, or a counter, a visit counter on your site. And you would do that through the embed, um, it, which I'm not going to go into today. That's probably for another video. So again, what we're looking at here is we're looking at our analytics here. So when I go to the Google search console and I try to have Google search my site, it's going to ask for a verification. And there's a couple ways that you can do that. The, the difficult part with Google Sites is they're a subdomain, sites.google.com forward slash whatever your company name is, whatever your business name is, whatever your um, basically your domain is, right? Mine's through my school district. If you have purchased your own domain through GoDaddy or HostGator or you know Namecheap or something like that, the process is the same, you would just be over here. So this is if you own your own domain. So maybe it used to be sites.google.com slash blah, 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 whatever. Now it's just, you know, mrcampbellrocks.com. Um, that's what I would put in over here. We're gonna go through this process here. And, and I'll show you kind of the problems that you're gonna run into. So uh, once again, I'm just putting all the way in till the last forward slash, and then I remove that last forward slash and I hit continue. So it's going to recognize my site, but what Google wants to do to make sure that, that I'm actually the owner of this site is I have to prove some things or I have to prove some things to Google that I'm not, you know, a hacker or somebody that's trying to hack the site. So I've got to go in and I've got to do one of these things. I've either got to plug some, an HTML file on the site, which is to download this and upload that. I have got to put something in the header, um, which I don't have access to on a Google site. I have the Google Analytics. We'll talk about that in a second. I could also have these two down here. Now, if you have purchased your own domain name, you can actually go into your DNS, right? Host, if it's GoDaddy or Namecheap, and you can change the DNS configuration for sites.google.com, and you would just copy this and paste this. Once that's done, usually takes 24 to 48 hours, is then you would come back and you would click verify. Then what Google would do is Google would start searching your site every time you have content or every time you upload new content. And so if you're uploading, let's say you work in real estate and you have a real estate site that's built on Google Sites, then any new listing that you had would be searchable in that Google search. <coughs> Excuse me. However, because we don't have access to the header or the footer in Google Sites, because we're not building our own site from scratch, we're kind of building a plug and play. The easiest way to do this is through Google Analytics. So I've created a Google Analytics account. I have some other sites on here that, that I work with. Um, 
we're going to log in. We're going to click on home. We click on home. We're going to have all of our different items here. And, and this is again, a whole nother video for Google analytics, but we're going to click on admin and we're going to have the opportunity to create a new account. So what we want to do is I can either create a new account or a new property. Now property is a site. If I have multiple sites under one, um, kind of, um, niche or something like that, um, then I would maybe want to put them all under here. So you'll notice here that I have a couple of different accounts. I have a Google site for training and I have a Mr. Campbell rocks. Well, I already have this set up. So now I want to create a new property, which is a new site, my Google site. So when I create the property here, um, we're just going to call, call this Google site, um, Mr. Campbell rocks. And then we'll keep it in us dollars. And that'll be important later. We'll click on next. Now it's going to ask us a little bit about our site. What do we do with this site? So it doesn't have education as a category. So I'm going to put hobbies and leisure. I have just by myself, small one to 10 employees. Now, now what I'm asking, what Google is asking us is what type of analytics do we want for our business? And I just want to see the traffic that's coming in. You could click through all of these, right? You could analyze all of these things. So I'm just going to click all of them. And we're going to create. Now, what we have is we have the option to choose an iOS app, an Android app, or the web. Well, this is a website. This isn't an app. This isn't an iOS app. So we're going to click on web. And you'll notice here that I need to plug in my URL. So if I come back to my site, this right here where it says sites.google forward slash all these numbers edit, that is not the name of my site. We need to go to actually the published version of the site. You'll see that this changes. And we're going to take out the home page and we're just going to copy this right here. We'll copy that. Come back over here. And you'll notice that the HTTPS is still missing. So we'll delete that. We're going to give our site a name again. And we're just going to do this training. And you'll see here, these are some of the things that are going to look at. We're going to look at page views, outbound clicks, file download, site search, video engagement, different things like that. When I click on create stream, this is actually going to give me the ID that we needed all the way back here. The analytics ID, right? Now, because it's a Google site, it's going to start with a G. Normally, if it's a, a personally hosted domain or a domain that you own, it's going to be UA with a dash and a bunch of numbers. So when I click create stream, you'll notice here is all of the information with this site. So here is my measurement ID right here. You can also copy and paste this here. I'm going to come back over now. And what will happen as soon as I plug this in, you'll know that I, you can see now that I have enabled analytics. So I'm just going to push that there and you'll see again, that little pop up at the bottom. You'll see if I post it here, I'll try and zoom in on this when I hit enter. So I just republished my site to make sure that everything is correct. And I'm just going to go around here and I'm just going to click and just the reason we're doing this is to actually put some data into that Google analytics. I don't know if it's going to show up this quick. So we've got all this information here. Now, if we go back here, it says there's no data received in the past 48 hours. Well, I haven't refreshed. So now what we'll do is we will go back to the home page of our Google Analytics. You'll see this is just the test version that I did before. Um, when I click on real time, you'll see that there's one person. So that is me. You can see basically where I live. 
um, that I'm on the Google site, you can see down here again how many page views I've gone through, how many users have come in, and this will start to populate um, based on the information that, that comes in. You can print all reports and different things like that. So that's the easiest way, in my opinion, to get your Google Sites into Google Analytics and have your data um, visible to you. Again, I'll just to show you again, if I open up a new window, let's do an in, uh, incognito window. And let's go back and just... So when we're looking at our data, if we, if we refresh that page and we go back, we probably won't have um, two, two sites anymore. Um, but if we go to this, we'll click on home again, and we'll be able to see our, our, user, our user data here. Um, if you wanted to, you could click on real time. I've closed one of those windows out, and, and so it's just sitting here. So you'll be able to get all of your traffic and information here. Now, now if we go back to the um, Google Search Console here, and I put this in, we click continue. Now that I have the um, analytics in, I've verified this with the Google Search Console. So when I click on this and I click on go to property, you'll see that um, it's basically going to take me to the new Google Search Console. And I have not been here through it through this. And so as you go to the updated one, um, you can go through over overviews, different things like that. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time in here. Um, but you'll be able to get some, you know, some some small data here. But the also the other thing that you're going to be able to do in here is you're going to be able to um, analyze your links and kind of your site maps that Google is searching. So now that Google right here, you can see right here at the top, right? Um, I can search all of my um, Google site pages. Um, I can look at where people are coming from, what kind of devices they're coming on, um, whether it's a phone, whether it's an Android, whether it's an Apple, whether it's a computer, a Mac, PC, all of those different things. And, and I can kind of make sure that everything is, is pushed out. So when I upload new content, Google will actually crawl my site. Even if it's published, sometimes Google will crawl that, but you won't have that data on the back end unless you have something to track the data, which is the Google Analytics. And so these are these are kind of two different things. There's the analytics side and then there's the search console. The search console is you as the creator of a Google site telling Google, hey, look at my site as often as you can. The analytics is for you and really it's to, to make money um, on the back end, and, and, and again, that's a conversation that we don't necessarily need to have, but you can see all of the information for um, the data here and your posts and pages here and how often Google is crawling those um, sites to, to pull that information off. Uh, hopefully this wasn't too confusing. Um, this isn't typically the type of video that I do for educators, but I've had a lot of non-educators that have found the Google Sites tutorials helpful and have asked questions about Google Analytics and the Search Console. Um, either way, if you're here, I appreciate you. I hope this video saved you time, energy, and frustration. Um, I know it, 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 hopefully it will. It, it did for me just to see this in, in a different viewpoint. But go ahead and like and subscribe and do all those things that everybody wants you to do with their, with their YouTube channel. Again, I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.